Hello, hello, people. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? The Brahmastra trailer has dropped, starring Amitabh Bachchan. I almost said starring Hindi. Starring Amitabh Bachchan, Ranbir Kapoor, Ali Abbat, and Ayan Mukherjee is the writer and director of this. So if you guys haven't already, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. Let's check this out. प्राचीन काल से हमारे बीच कुछ ऐसी शक्तियां हैं जो अस्त्रों में भरी हुई हैं। What the heck? ये कहानी है इन सारे अस्त्रों के देवता की ब्रह्मास्त्र और एक ऐसे नौजवान की जो इस बात से अनजान है कि वो ब्रह्मास्त्र की किस्मत का सिकंदर है, शिवा। Okay. Let's go through that again, but uh, without all the sound, I'm sure you know more than I do. But uh, for me personally, as someone who is a complete noob, I really, really enjoy the visuals. You know, okay, so you've got ancient beings, you've got magic, you've got fight scenes, elements, you got, got elemental uh, stuff, you got war, ancient beings who are going to war with each other. I just love that stuff. The idea that you have like this avatar projection thing going on—I don't understand all of it. I just know that I love what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, it looks really epic. It satisfies the fantasy lover in me, and I feel a little bit wary saying that because I know that this is related to religion, you know, like it's Hinduism. And, and so I don't want people to take it the wrong way when I say the fantasy element, but there is something fantastical about this movie, like the superpowers and everything and the way that they're portrayed, the colors, the good guys, the bad guys. It's just everything that I love about the genre. I personally am just a big, big fan of the idea of like ain't having these ancient beings that have been at odds with each other for since the beginning of time. Yeah. I mean, you see this pop up a lot, but here you're using, uh, I guess, Hinduism to express that idea this time. And I think that's super cool. So far, it just looks really nice. I mean, obviously there are limitations in terms of the visual effects compared to something like, let's say, if Marvel produced it. That's not lost on me. I but, mean, that's a given. But just looking at this, the, the sheer scope of what they're aiming for, the audacity, <laughs> <laughs> the ambition, right? I just think that's super cool. And to educate my ass on like some of the things I don't understand about Hinduism, you know, in a very, very fun, fantastical, action-packed way. Yeah, and it kind of reminds me of the, the ancient mythology type stories where often gods 
gods will use humans to play out their own battles and their own personal vendettas and everything. And so I'm getting a sense of that here where not only is he a guy who's really good at weapons or like these magical weapons, he himself is the weapon, right. you know? And so it begs the question, like who else are like, who else is a weapon as well? I guess I, so for, for me as a Westerner, that kind of takes me to like Moon Knight and Wonder Woman yeah. and stuff like that with like ancient gods and things of that nature. Yeah, but. it just feels really, really epic and, and I'm loving all of the, like like the way that they're making the magic look, the colors and everything. And they set it up with, oh, there's a fire, there's wind, all the elements and they're all yeah. coming together. As a huge fan of Avatar The Last Airbender, like this totally speaks to me, you know? <laughs> and I know that those aren't the same thing. I think that Avatar The Last Airbender borrows from a lot of different things. Yes. But as someone, like that's my favorite show of all time, more than Friends. To me, it's the best show ever made. And so seeing that kind of stuff here in live action, way better than that other Indian guy. Oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, M. Night Shyamalan did Avatar The Last Airbender, the movie, and I just, I hated it so hard. This looks like what Avatar should have been. Now, this moment here is interesting to me because you see a lot of guys, right? Now, typically what we've been seeing in Indian films as of late is just an impossibly large army. Yeah. I know I know India's got a lot of people, but goddamn, like these <laughs> armies are so huge oftentimes because you know that they're like populating with CGI, like yeah, du yeah. duplicating people rather. Mm -hmm. And so here, it looks like those are all real people. Like it it, it's not overblown with too many extras. It's like that that looks like a reasonably sized army. And presumably, you know, these are all very, very deadly, fierce, willing to sacrifice their lives warriors. Exactly. Who, then that is what Rambir Kapoor is up against. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Like, probably one of these warriors is worth 10 people. You know right, what I right. mean? Well, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and damn, she's hot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're like, you can destroy me any day. Yeah. Take me, lady. You look like a problem I need to have. Yeah. Uh, but it's like, she's also got those red eyes. I know that's all CG and stuff, but still. I like the uh, the look of Amitabh Bachchan here, like the, the sage wise old guy yeah. who's, you know, guiding Rambir Kapoor to his self actualization, to fulfillment of his destiny. I mean, I love stories about destiny. It's always fun. It's always fun. And I also really appreciate that he's narrating the trailer because there's something about his voice. Like, it just sounds so full of gravitas and, like, magical and wonderful and warm and syrupy. And I just, you know, yeah. just keep talking, Amitabh Bachchan, because I love it. I really love this idea of the fire blade. I have no idea how they're doing this. If he just has, like, a green pole in his hand and oh, it's yeah. up to the visual effects artist to figure this out later on and they just got him you know animate the flame and whatnot because obviously this is impossible right for Rami Beer Kapoor to, he's a committed actor it's a full-blown method I am holding a fire sword yeah yeah, yeah no, totally. no, no obviously he's not doing that right and so I really 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 like this idea a lot I don't know like what that leads to and how that's going to be used later on if it's gonna like have projectile fire coming off of the sword or whatever but I love like I guess I grew up loving Street Fighters. I love I love projectile elemental stuff a lot. Yeah, and also the choice to make it kind of red and pink is mm -hmm. really interesting as well because I think it kind of lends itself well to the fantasy element because it, it does look like flames, but like not really, not really the flames that we're used to because we don't often see pink. But then again, it could also be a choice to make him stand out from uh, the lady, I think it's Mooney Roy, who has the red power, Yeah, you know, so you can easily go, oh, okay, that's her. There's a guy with blue. I'm assuming that's like water element. Maybe she's another fire, but a different type. And I'm also really enjoying like the love story between Ranbir and Alia. Like, yeah, totally buying into it. Real life boot Off up. of a trailer. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's cute. That's right. I mean, you don't even need to think about it too hard because they really yeah, are. Yeah, they married. really are married. Um, right now, they are. But yeah, it's it's really cute and and that's sweet. There's a there's a Korean film called Among Gods that. Oh um, yeah yeah yeah. Uh, you know, I at the time that I saw that trailer, I was losing my shit because I was like, oh, this is such a cool idea. And then I watched it and I wasn't quite as happy because I, I didn't get everything that I wanted out of those movies. Uh -huh. This feels like it's going to do more closer to what I was hoping Among Gods would do. Just like bringing in all this ancient, you know, larger than life figures and, 
you know, kind of like what I was hoping for from Eternals, essentially. Right. You know, it's like I love ideas like that, and just and I just keep hoping that they execute it well at some point. Exactly, because the idea itself is really grand. Exactly. It's so big, and it's like, how do you take that idea that is just so large in scope and do it in a film? But I mean, this is and just do it in a way that like is relatable, and you're able to follow the story. Exactly, and this is part one, right? So I'm assuming that they are focusing on Ranbir. Kapoor and his story and his element, which is fire. So oh, I, I thought don't... they were focusing on the guy that was like, running away from all the fire. Oh yeah, that the, guy too. The mask guy. Yeah, 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 definitely him. No, but I mean, this is just focusing on one aspect of the story, right? Sure. And, and there's gonna be more. So I feel like if you're just kind of keeping it specific, then you're able to help the audience focus on like, you know, the 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 person right. or the people that you want them to focus on before kind of leading them into the next part of the story. Which, which is, could be far more complicated. Yeah. It's, but I mean, this is giving you a base to work with and then you build on it from here. Exactly. Yeah, presumably. Yeah. So anyways, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed that reaction. Do let us know your feelings in the comments below and feel free to educate us on Please. anything that we don't understand that is being revealed here in the trailer that's based on Hinduism. I, I just would love to know more because this is so exciting to me. Yeah. Uh, thanks again for hanging out. I'm Jabby Koei. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.